Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, if you're viewing tonight, tonight is the penultimate episode of our first season arc uh, of Rise of Rosun. Um, we will be announcing something very soon about what we'll be doing next, uh, but Rise of Rosun will be put on hold for a period of time. Uh, if you're new to the show, uh, go ahead and check out our um, media links and check out the prior episodes either on Twitch or on our YouTube channel. They are updated weekly with uh, every episode. And our Twitter page has all of our uh, social media links on the pinned tweet, and that is MBMRPG. Uh, additionally, we'd like to thank the following people for helping us out and making our show better. Uh, thanks to Axe and Shield for your amazing combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for your awesome dungeon terrain. Uh, thanks to Sirenscape for your fantastic soundscapes. And lastly, thanks to Rudy Rudenberg and Satine Phoenix for all of your advice along the way. Uh, with that, let's... Oh, um, before we get to the players and their characters... Um, tonight's session incorporates a skill challenge uh, designed by our very own Adam Paris. Um, hopefully I can pull it off halfway as good as he did um, when he designed it because it was an amazing skill challenge. Uh, so with that, uh, let's meet the characters and or the players and their characters. So Mike, who are you playing tonight? I am playing Zerk, the half-orc barbarian, champion of the fair winds, and navigator of the Tempest Temptress. Eric? Uh, I'm playing Elray, uh, Foxfire Doran, the elf rogue, who is currently sitting all by himself at the table. Oh. Aaron? Visago Free, ever trustworthy tiefling bard, who is currently uh, high rolling it. And Doug, you are no longer a lizard. Oh, good. So <laughs> I'm Captain Xenos High Hill, the halfling wizard captain of the Tempest Temptress. And? And I'm Howard. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be playing Sarsarel, the submerged, half-elven cleric of Umberley, and the chosen champion of her as well. All right. So, brief recap. Uh, actually, not so brief as I look at the bullet points here. Um, so, Zago and Sarsarel connected back up with Shipwreck and Foxfire to hunt down a, a den of thieves in the sewers. Um, while they were at uh, the Fairwind Tavern, uh, they decided to rest for a spell and uh, take a short rest. Um, the crew fully kicked the butt of the pirates that uh, stole from Xenos, uh, but unfortunately, um, they were not the first to meet up with the bandits. And as Tatum explained to the party, um, a friend named Steve had already come to get the spyglass to return it to the crew of the Tempest Temptress. Uh, he said some fancy words, and Tatum just felt like giving it to him. Um, the party came to the, the realization that the Sisters of Fate had tricked the bandits out of the spyglass, um, and then have appeared to leave their lair uh, in Emmerich's hold, um, and left a note for the minion of the Stormcrow that he should have shouldn't have gone back on the deal. Um, the party also discussed politics. Um, with Captain Gastaban and religion with Dirk and Firebrand, of the, a cultist of the Elemental Eye. Apparently, the cultist of the Elemental Eye is a multi-level marketing um, group, and as long as you get enough sponsors, you're guaranteed to make money, um, which appeared to have some kind of scheme uh, going for it. Uh, so with that, we jump in. Um, you are seated above the balcony, uh, above Mara Windstrider as she addresses the other pirate lords of the Black Heart Council. Uh, she's seated around the, um, the Obsidian Blackstone table are individuals who control the collective power of the pirate islands. Also in attendance are the influential crew and citizens of Emmerich's Hold. Um, at one end of the room sits the Hurricane Throne, a seat commissioned by Emmerich himself um, and when he formed the alliance of the pirates of these islands. The hurricane throne appears to be carved from cobalt um, into, not cobalt, <laughs> cobalt, um, into the shape of crashing right. waves, but a, upon closer inspection, um, you, you are able to see it's that really the, um, the waves are hinting, uh, or wa the waves are in motion, hinting at the magical nature of the throne. Mm. Um, so in attendance, is Volgrim the Mighty, 
a uh, fire giant who towers over the others um, in his specially built massive granite chair, uh, which smolders as his skin touches it. Uh, Volgrim's eyes appear to be stuck with a death glare um, at the ever shifting, uh, or ever shifting from uh, Vizago to Gastaban. Uh, Gastaban, an aging symbion, uh, appears to be barely uh, able to keep his eyes open as the conversation continues and his dro droopy mustache wafts in um, the breeze as he breathes heavily through his nostrils. Um, Mara Windstrider uh, is a young female captain who gives an impassioned, or is, is currently giving an impassioned speech um, about the need to present a united front against the goblinoid aggressors and what appears to be their dragon god. We have uh, Teldar, a dark-skinned dwarf who uh, has waxed many points of his beard into um, waxed mustaches, so many points of his beard are waxed that way. Um, and he nods in agreement at every word that Captain Windstrider speaks. And lastly, we have Asnar Bolabar, a blue-skinned tiefling who runs his hands through spiky spines that would normally be considered hair on any other creature. Uh, rolling his eyes at Captain Windstrider's words and offering ex expressions of exasperation as uh, as if he gave them no credence. So, this was, this is two weeks in the future. We jump back a step to um, two weeks before you are at this meeting. Um, and if you remember, one of the things that Captain Windstrider wanted you to do was get all the parties in attendance here. Um, so in this two weeks, um, we'll play this out day by day, and you guys tell me what you guys did to make this meeting happen. Um, I will say that your time um, will pay off in in the meeting itself. So if you do particularly well, um, you may gain some allies in doing this. So um, it is uh, the first day of the two weeks before your, uh, the Blackheart Council. And what do your characters want to accomplish on this day? So we'll start with Mike and we'll just go around the table. Well, we need to get Volgrim to the table. Uh -huh. I got a plan for that. Okay. And we have to get um, Thevin out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cirque is going to try to get a plan of the castle. Okay. Or the keep. Now, you do, you do remember last... Last week, uh, Gastaban <coughs> offered to give you a tour of the town yeah. uh, of the castle, and Merck's castle, um, and he's still willing to do that. He 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 said that he would call upon you. So, yeah. do you want to? Yeah, I I I'd go on. Do, do that. you want to do that, or do you want to try to get um, the plans for the castle itself? I'd like to do both because then I can okay. make sure that the plans are accurate. Now, last time. Uh, Craig was played by a PC, uh, by you. Well, actually, <laughs> by Adam. He was able to connect with the dwarves of the city and get the plans for Immerk's, or uh, for Volgrim's yeah. um, oh. estate. estate. So oh, okay. you think that if you um, were able to Contact use... Contact the same. Yeah, you'd probably be able to do that. So, okay. Um, so you and Craig go off to get the plans for the keep. Is anybody going with Cirque to do this? I'll help him. Okay. All right. So you guys go off together. Yep. Um, there are a, uh, a guild of masons that are that operate here. It's a small uh, guild, mostly dwarves, um, who happen to um, have plans for most of the buildings in the city because they built most of them. Um, so uh, what would you like to do? You're there with Craig and uh, Zeno. I asked Craig if he can go introduce us. Okay. Um, as these are his people. <laughs> That's true. So Craig walks up and he says, uh, he says, thank you for your help last time. It paid out big. Um, and the dwarves are like, shh, shh, 
we didn't really help you all that much, remember. <laughs> and um, he introduces uh, his good friends, Sirk and Xenos, and uh, the dwarves nod at you and say, what can we do for you? Uh, we're looking for plans for the keep. Okay. And um, we've started a new policy. What do you plan to do with these plans for the keep? Help a friend. I'm gonna need you to be a little. Last time we gave out plans for one of the buildings in town, it didn't <coughs> go so well, and one of the pirate lords got really mad. He's not gonna be madder. We we've been, <laughs> we've been asked to help. Is the keep where this dinner's gonna yep. be? Yep. Well, we've been asked by one of the pirate lords to assist with the dinner, and we need the plans to us to assist. Okay. Why don't you make a persuasion check? I will give you advantage because uh, Craig of Clan Rumpletide will assist you. Can I do a deception instead? Well, technically that's part of a lie, so sure, why not? Natural 20. Natural yeah. 20. <laughs> All right. Roll again? No, I'm good with that. So that'd be a 25 on deception or 22 persuasion. So. Okay, well, either way, you're able to convince the dwarves um, that they should give you the plans. Because I'm a pirate lord. Uh, they're not going to give you... Natural 20. I'm a pirate lord. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to give you um, their copies of the plants. And they do say that there is um, a, a small co copying fee <laughs> that they'll have to assess. Um, of, uh, you know... they got to take it down to the service center. Yeah, they, they'll, t they'll have to take it down to the copy service. Um, just put it on the pirate lord's account. That's fine. Well, you know, since... Since Vogram has been so upset, we're not we're not accepting no, credit. Gast Gastavon's credit uh, account. Uh, how about um, cash? How and then how much the is it? Um, well, it's only five silver pieces to oh. to make the the oh. plans. It'll take about two weeks Sir, to get them to you. <laughs> takes two weeks. Yeah. Are Are they, if we want them today. Oh, if you want them today, uh, that'll be fifty gold. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you have any plans of the sewers? Oh yeah, we have plenty of plans of the sewers. <laughs> Can I get copies of those too? That's. Do you want them today or in? Uh, two weeks is fine. It's a super rush rush. Okay. Really, two weeks? We're gonna be in there in two weeks. I'm not here. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, are do the sewers connect to the keep? Um. Yeah. There's privies in there. Then I need to. Know. Then we need the sewers too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, that so that's be, another fifty gold. No, we'll, we'll give you those. I mean, sewer. Sewer um, plans are much more common, so we, we can give you those uh, for ten gold. Okay. Um, what other plans do you have? Well, we have plans for most of the um, stone buildings in the in Emmerich's Hold. Are there any other stone buildings in Emmerich's Hold that we're interested in? Um. <laughs> planning some future items. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a number of pirate lords um, that have a mixture of stone and Tudor. Okay. Uh, buildings, so they would probably have plans for each one of those. Okay. Um, and the the Temple of um, Umberly is not a stone building. It is actually okay. a petrified, um, not a kraken. But the shell of some. Yeah, it's it's a shell of a sea monster. Well, we, we don't need that. One. Uh, what about Asnar's place? Do you have anything of Asnar's? Yeah, yeah, we could, we could probably dig something up. Okay. Okay. Are there any other stone buildings neighboring the keep? Uh, no. No, okay. they're not. Okay. All right. Then we should be all right. All right. So, do we still have the guard uniforms from Volgrim's estate? Mm, I don't think so, because we jumped through a portal at the end. I don't think we brought the guard uniforms with us. Mm. Because we um, have two weeks who? to make that happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can steal them. We can definitely Disguise get them. Kit? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, our rogue can do Wait, it. Wait, rogue? We have Wait, a rogue? No, he's an urban manager. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Rogues so, would be super useful. Right? So he sure goes would. off to fabricate the plans. Okay, good. Um, and he has a special spell for that called Fabricate. And he just goes, and they show up over there. And it's like, <laughs> sweet 49 gold. <laughs> 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 um... So it's going to take him a few minutes to, okay. to, to make money. money for you. Um, <laughs> okay. So Foxfire and Sarsarel and Zago, what are you guys doing during the first day? 
Uh, Visago is definitely going to meet with Mara Winstrider about how Volgrim's coming to the table. Okay. Um, but it requires something from her. Okay. Which She's interested to see what you have to say. A strand of her hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just two strands of your hair. Yeah. First for Volgrim well, and the other one for a group of hags that you don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm hoping to be out of here before that blows over. Um, no. Uh, Visago says I can get Volgrim out of hiding rather easily. How's that? Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to show up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can understand why he would be upset with you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to need to be your privileged guest. <laughs> okay. Um, explain to me what that entails. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be your agent. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll, I'll work for you. But when Vulgrim comes from my head, I need to be under your protection. Okay. So why don't you make a persuasion roll? Absolutely. Does anybody with... Are you... Sarsarel or Foxfire with him and trained in persuasion? I am trained in persuasion, so I can give you an assist. Sure. Okay. I'll take an assist, 100%. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about a natural 26 with your assist? Natural you really 26. needed that reroll. I really did. <laughs> it went from a 6 to a 20, yeah. That's, that's good. <laughs> I'll yeah. be there for you. So <laughs> she, she says she's willing, to, um, she's willing to make you her special guest. She says, you know what? Um, if you uh, kneel down for a second, and she pulls out her rapier, oh, and she says, "I um, <laughs> this is a knighting ceremony." No, it's not knighting. <laughs> um, she says, Skewering. "I declare you to be um, my special associate. You rise, special associate of Mara Windstrider." Okay, well, I'm not going to need this anymore. And he throws a goatee <laughs> out the window, <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> it was bizarre, the, the, whole the, whole the whole time. The whole time. And then it the lands and starts crawling away. Yeah, it starts crawling away. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. So um, we're going to, each one of these tasks is going to accomplish a day's yeah. worth of stuff. Because okay. Because otherwise, if you We'll guys, be here for yeah, we'll two weeks. Here. We'll be here for two weeks. <laughs> so. Um, two weeks. Eric, weeks Foxfire didn't do anything this day. Nope. Uh, what would you like Foxfire to do to accomplish this? Um, that's, I want to try to, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, he wants to try to, uh, ingratiate himself amongst the serving staff, um, with the disguise kit, because okay. everybody else knows what I look like, so try to get in and kind of make sure that I'm there amongst the serving staff during oh. the event. Oh, nice. Okay. So um, go ahead and make your disguise roll. So it's your. Um, I, I, How come our wings just kind of disguise? Let's see. I don't know. That's, it is your that proficiency bonus yeah. or that? Yep. I don't know okay. what it adds to it. I think it lets me add my proficiency bonus with the skill check. Okay, so it would be depth, to deception. Any at that ability point. check. Yeah. Okay. Deception and that. Oh, ouch. How, how's your disguise? Uh, so good. Well, my bonus is and much that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's just two black uh, I rolled a two. Okay. Can you do a bad Middle Eastern And I get side? to add he seven takes... to it for a nine. <laughs> okay, so not good. Wow. You think you disguised yourself <laughs> fantastically. Awesome, let's get that out of the so way. So you go in. Clearly um, a ranger. But he's not, a, he's not exactly well known. At Emmerich's home. No, no, yeah. not so. necessarily. Um, so, mm. I'm sorry, I forget. Are you a half elf or a full elf? Full elf. Okay. And with this not so great um, disguise role, what is what did you disguise your character to look like? What um, was your intent and what was the result? Well, the I, <laughs> I was in, <laughs> intent was to look like the serving staff. I now look like the serving staff who maybe got in a bar fight and is kind of covered in mud and filth because oh, I thought okay. the best thing to do was just to cake some mud onto my. This is what yeah. peasants See, look like. <laughs> See, that's that ranger talking yeah, right there. Right yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need a camouflage. <laughs> roll around in the dirt. So you spend the day. Um, He's got moss on his head. So they now have a, a uh, burnt copper skinned. Um, Elf covered in mud. Okay. Um, you spend the day at Emmerich's hold. Um, and so one of the things that I was looking at as far as 5th uh, edition goes, so they don't have really a success at a cost, which I think is, is way better um, to have, you know, when you don't roll great, 
but um, would still like to succeed. There's a success at a cost. So at this point, I would say that you spend the day and no one appears to notice who you are. But at some point in the future, um, someone is going to recognize you as the guy that didn't really know what he was doing at, <laughs> at Emmerich's uh, fort. Um, so, yeah. So I think that's how that will play out. Cool. Yeah. Um, so night passes. Um, and uh, Doug, Xenos has a vision okay. in his dreams um, of a very uh, black-skinned individual. We're talking like uh, drow black-skinned. Um, ebony skin. She's got um, a wild nest of hair. Uh, looks really windswept. Is it white? Uh, yeah, it's it's grayish white. Um, and she has got these two spiraling ram horns that come out of her head and then circle her ears. Um, and she says to Xenos in his dream that he really should keep the things that she's given to him. Um, and he really needs to work on uh, getting his spyglass back. <laughs> you gonna share that dream with anybody? And then the next day you wake up. Okay. Um, I mean, okay. You two have some too. weird dreams, man. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. Don't, Don't you ever like come to you and <laughs> talk? It's weird. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I think we really need to focus on the important things now. <laughs> My spyglass. Spyglass. You guys dropped the ball the other day. Or a week ago, or whatever. So we need to. He got turned into a lizard. Does Sirk have to solve everything? I yes. Go to the sewers and go find the head. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. That's the kind of Search initiative I like to see on the, the crew. Sewers, searching fruitlessly. I'm gonna find a what? rabbit. Oh, hags! A black hair. A long one. Yeah. A really a tall. Long, a long black hair. You give it a little pirate hat. <laughs> but it's like um, a gnome somewhere. Okay. So it is day two. Uh, okay. 12 days until the Black Heart Council. And yes, I know that in Forgotten Realms, uh, weeks are 10 days long. But I'm not <laughs> going to do 20 days of this. So uh, 12 days left until the Black Heart Council. Um, what, were, what do your characters want to do? I need to find a gnome body. Okay. That's true. I need to go to the temple. A gnome the body. Way. What for? I, you need to go to the temple. Of the I temple. did. Well, we have this gnome that we need to convince Volgrim he's dead. I need to I need to collect the tithe from the party too. Uh, I say what? super I, casually. I, I oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take care of that back at the ship. I believe you got, uh, got three times time. your tithe last time, uh, and you got to keep your life too, which is a big bonus. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bonus. <laughs> I don't remember serving your deity. <laughs> remember when I saved your life three times, yeah. and then I was your deity. <laughs> no, I, I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how that works. That is how it works. It saved <laughs> no, your you, life once, I saved it three times. I'm you, basically your You were acting through the gods. <laughs> Clearly their will was being done. You don't want him to act through his gods. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so you're headed to... I'm going to go to the temple. The temple. So the temple is called Evermaw Hall. Okay. Um, it is a leviathan oh, that okay. has been brought up on shore. Um, and you know that... Um, you wouldn't even have to roll for this because you're a cleric in the region. Um, that uh, the creature that was uh, that is basically the temple now um, was a leviathan named Evermaw, whose um, skeletal remains were brought ashore by a pirate lord, um, and um, they cast uh, flesh to stone oh, okay. on it. Um, and it became a stone structure on the beach. Cool. Um, the Leviathan, the Leviathan um, was known for eating ships, um, so that gives you a it's an big. idea about the size of it. So if we cast stone to flesh, it'll just become a <laughs> Leviathan again. Just that we havoc. really should try that. I feel like that it probably was. If I had more spell. than a fifth level party, could accomplish. I don't want to come back to this island again. <laughs> <laughs> so you head out to um, Evermaw Hall. Okay. And um, what do you what do you want to do there? Well, I want to ask about the Hurricane Throne. Okay. Uh, because I'm sure I've heard about it, if it's mm -hmm. a pretty famous thing. Yeah. 
Um, and well, do you, are you trained in history? I, uh, I am not trained in history. I'm trained in religion. Okay, why don't you just make me an intelligence check, and we'll see how much you know without. Okay. I have insight. Or, uh, so that is, uh, I'm trained, that's a 16. Okay. So you would know that, yeah, it was probably um, Umberly's clerics that made this thing. Okay. And so traveling to um, uh, Evermont Hall would be a good idea to, if you want to learn more about it. Okay. Um, so there is um, a sea elf that is um, that is out um, proselytizing to a small group of people um, about the the duality of Umberly, and um, that you should tithe heavily because um, because you never know when Umberly's you want favor. yeah you never know when Umberly's um, mind will turn away from you and you might be in danger. I kind of like like uh, do some amens and preach at brothers or sisters. Why don't you make a uh, why don't you make a performance <coughs> check uh, performance yeah, right. to uh, hype up the crowd for this. Hmm. It couldn't be persuasion. No, it's going to be performance. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it's a ten. Okay, so you do a fairly decent job. Uh, you get the sense that she means may not have needed your help but um, but you know it's always good to meet another person of your faith um, so the well, for her it's got to be a real treat yeah to meet me I'm sure once she does meet you she's she's gonna be super so stoked um, so there's a giant seashell that gets passed around as a collection plate and people tithe um, you know copper and silver into it and then um, they head on their their way okay. um, and she says hello stranger and and who are you well i'm decked out like fully decked yeah. out in my oh yeah garb she's so. uh i introduce myself as our matron's chosen champion sarsarel sarsarel i've heard of you you're an associate of the zago yes yes the zago the ever trustworthy tiefling bard yes yes that's how some have referred to him, yes. <laughs> that is almost exclusively how I have heard him introduced. She says, I am Jacuz. I am the head headmistress of this temple. Um, and she walks you into um, the mouth of the temple. Okay. Um, and along the insides, it if it wasn't a, a church of Umberley, this would seem really... Um, gauche Weird. because it, it does like the inside of this building looks like the inside of a creature. Well, sure. Um, with some accoutrement to um, to make it look like a temple. Yeah. Um, and she says, "What what brings you to my temple?" Well, I mean, a couple of things. I tell her about the, or I ask her if she's heard of what befell the temple and the rest of the island. She does, and she says, "You know." Uh, Umberly will smite that dragon. Well, I, I believe that, but as you know, I mean, the, the god's will is done through mortals. Correct. So yes. I believe that I'll be an instrument in that smiting. Well, I wish you luck. And I thought I might come and, and uh, see if I could get any help or advice towards that end. And I kind of explain... Um, the connection as I understand it. Because do I understand at some point, I, I feel like we got a tip that, I don't know that Volgram's connected at all still to the to the Red Colt or doing. Uh, uh, no, we got uh, that from, um, uh, from, from the G. Gastaban. G. From Thank Gastaban. You. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I let, I let her know that that, uh, one of the pirate lords here is connected to the, to the destruction of a Temple of Umberley. And that I'm certain that Umberley would like for me to help take down this treasonous, affronting individual. Well, she says, I don't see how he could possibly be connected with the destruction of a temple of Umberley. He brought the, this temple to the beach. Oh, he's the one that brought it to the beach? Yes. He wow. hunted the Leviathan down himself. Um, and how could he present such an offering? And she kind of uh, <laughs> well, and many be in league <clears throat> against Umberly. 
many who have once traveled the path stray from it, mm. I say. And I believe that he has strayed much further than most. Okay. Um, did you want to ask about the... Yeah, I want to ask about the throne? Hurricane Throne and see if there's anything significant about it or that I should be aware of prior to sure. being in its so presence, I guess. what she tells you is the Hurricane Throne was uh, commissioned by Emmerich himself. Um, Emmerich <coughs> ruled the Pirate Islands um, about a thousand years ago. Um, and she says he commissioned the Hurricane Throne to be formed from a water elemental. Um, and only those that... Uh, that could only the only person that could sit on the throne is someone who's proven themselves worthy enough to earn the hurricane crown, ah. which is another piece of the water elemental. Ah. Um, and he formed around him a, a, a council of pirate lords, um, and with his passing, um, he is the last person to have sat on the hurricane throne. Interesting. Um, the pirate lords continue in his stead, waiting for someone to earn the, the hurricane <laughs> crown. And how does one go about find? Is it a you'd matter to, of finding you'd the You'd have the to find it first, crown? and then prove, prove yourself worthy. All right. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> she says with a wink. Um, okay, so moving on. Um, Mike, what, did you, what are you doing on the second day? Well, I need to find a gnome. Yep. Yeah. I need to find... You need to kill a gnome. I need, well, yeah. <laughs> or find um, a dead gnome. I mean, they they wash up dead all the time. Yeah. You just <laughs> in some one, cities. Yeah. You just hold one in a paint bucket, and then... Yeah. I mean, they fall right in. Um, it says right on the side. And then disguise his body to look like... Um, I can't even think of his name right now. Uh, Nickus. Nickus. Yeah, your guts. Friend. Yeah. Yep. So, are you going alone on this task, or are you? I was going to help you out. Take your okay. Friend? All right. Is it gnome specifically, or would a small child do? Uh, um, I'd like a maybe gnome. A misshapen human. A maybe gnome a that looks feet. like a niggas. Okay. So that I can. Well, just you know where we can find a halfling? Char the yeah. face a little bit. <laughs> Char the face a little bit. No. So, um, so far, what you've seen, as far as I mean, there are there are. They're mostly bartenders. People of all races. Uh, but yeah, we've established <laughs> in the last couple of sessions that um, gnomes have a role in the society and they are bartenders. So if you go to a bar, you're likely to find a gnome. But well, there's only three bars. There's two. There's two. Well, one, there, of them's yeah, gone. One, one, one of them's gone. And it only had you on tea. Yeah. Uh, bartenders, so, Which um, is terrible because you go to a bar for beer, not tea. <laughs> yeah, right. See? Um, it's true. And. Uh, you want tea? No, I want a beer. That's why I came to a bar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you can you can hunt down a gnome if you want to spend a day looking. Yeah. Um, it would be an investigation. Okay. Um, and if you take someone with you who might know do how you, to find. Do you gnomes, have investigation? I do. Mine's only a plus three though. What's yours? One. Okay, I'll, I'll roll it. Do you want to give me advantage on that? Uh, I'm not trained. Oh, what? you're not trained. No. What? Uh, yeah, he, yeah. So he can't give you a bonus. A, a barbarians are trained yeah. in lots of skills. So, um, Fair enough. Punch. Eric is barbarian trained in investigation. Stab. Uh, I have a plus three, but no. You're not trained. No. What about Xenos? Is Xenos trained in investigation? No. So it looks like you're rolling solo on this. All and right. Just the god of luck is going to help you. <sighs> I suppose. <laughs> oh so I, yeah. I said my inspiration from last week. Boop. Did yeah. I never use it? I think you used it. I think you did. You turned it. You turned it in for some. I don't remember, but no. I got a week. <laughs> you got two weeks. There you go. Uh, all right. So that would be a fourteen. Okay. So fourteen. So it takes you um, the better part of a day to find a sickly gnome who um, appears to have what may end up killing him. Um, That's a tough break. Yeah. But an introduction to Cirque? But he, <laughs> he looks like he's close enough to Nickus that uh, if you disguised him, no one would know the, the wiser, especially with a Vizago disguise. Um, so no, none of the ranger disguise stuff. No, 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 no mud. No. Yeah. He's got mud and leaves. Yeah. Like, Don't worry, this will definitely work. It's yeah. all <laughs> As we all none know, Nickus loved the woods. <laughs> so, um, 
So, Sark, are you going to just uh, crack his neck? or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make an athletic check. He's really putting him out of his misery more than uh, anything. Should be more of a medicine, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it depends on how you want to put him down. I yeah. guess. Humanely or just... I mean, the bard could put him down. <laughs> That's a 19. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you... <clears throat> I could mock him. He seems fairly yeah, exactly. real, and you just... Uh, you just put him it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. my God, the sickness <laughs> developed so quickly. Yeah. I just he went had, to he use the restroom. Had a bit of cough is yeah. really the first part. Yeah. Oh, I just slapped him on the back and it just, it was just shattered over just shattered out of his out of his rib cage. Oh man. Um, Oh. Lawful good party, this one. Doug, yeah. what is Xena supposed to do? All right, so, so first off, do I recognize <laughs> the woman in my dream? Uh, do you want to make an arcana check? Sure. That. Mm, that that Doesn't is look cocked. Like it. Yeah. That is a 12. A 12. Um, you would recognize this as a hag. But you would not necessarily know enough about um, about hags thing. to know what particular type it one would be. Yes, I mean, um, about hags. The party hag. did figure out that um, the storm crow might <clears throat> be um, a hag that you've had dealings with in the past. Um, she's not really an elf. Apparently. She's not really an elf. She's the one that gave you this. Part. I thought she was Grandma Elf. Yeah. See, so, I remember stealing it, so. So there he is. So, Doug, if you think back to Xenos's session two, I think, was that. Uh, back to his childhood on the Happy Island. Yeah. Okay, happy session, island so session two, I was on the. Paldir. Were we still on Paldir? Yeah. We were on mm-hmm. Paldir on our way to the dwarves. Yeah, yeah. on the way to the dwarves. And oh, yeah. We stopped for an a elderly sleep. elf. Yes. You stopped at her. And she whispered something in my. And she said, may you find what you're looking for. Right. Yes. And, um, and okay. then Cirque saw her open a door that was just a doorway in standing in the middle of uh, her clearing. Okay. And when she opened it, um, it was an opening to a massive cave. Okay. Uh, and then when you guys investigated it, there's nothing on either side of the door. And if you would have, I don't know that you investigated the door, but if I you just had, I just told her it looked neat. Yeah, you told her that it looked neat. But if you mm. had, it would just open up <laughs> into nothingness. Okay. Um. So. I've been rude that you told her that. That could be. Could be her. I mean. Okay. There, there, she was called the Tempest. Uh, the Tempest Crone. And this is called the Storm Crow. So I mean, there's it's similar. Okay. It's a great disguise check. So, it's so she, so someone she, had asked for many layers of things, and I, I might have layered in. Some. So she so. wants me to keep what she's given me, but she didn't give me the thing in the first place. But anyway, are you, are you sure she didn't? I said my recollection is I stole it. Um, you stole it off of Vwook. So, I guess the question is, with the map of the sewers now, uh huh, and the last time we knew about. Where the spyglass was, there was a thief in the sewers running around with it. Yes. Okay. That was actually a hag in disguise. No, it was yes. probably it was a hag. In a, it probably a hag she disguised as Steve. Because spells. Steve was not in good shape last time I saw him. Steve is oh, true. and they probably healed him up, and because he was their friend. No, that's not. No. Oh. They weren't going to heal anybody. Yeah. So the question, I guess, Shadow, is what? What voice. can Xenos do at this point to try to? Find or continue the search for his spyglass, because so clearly that's most important. If you, <laughs> it says if so you, on my character sheet. If you want to spend a day in the sewers looking for that, mm-hmm. it would allow you to make an investigation check to see if you can find any leads on it. Investigation. You, you could probably go back to um, finding the hag layer is probably fairly easy for you because you've mm-hmm. been there before. Right. Um, and you can either look around that, or if you want to just look around the sewers in general, you could certainly... If I went back to the to the hag area... Don't forget to say Bella. And I, could I use Arcana mm-hmm. instead to look for perhaps magical clues as to where they sure. might have gone? Sure, I'd let you do that. Are you going to go into the sewers alone? No, I'm going to bring a ranger to protect me. Okay. Unless you're you doing something else where, today. Where are you going to find a ranger? <laughs> we got a ranger on the crew. Favorite terrain sewers. Yeah. You want to bring Tatum with you too? He knows the sewers. Who? Tatum, the leader Tatum. of the thieves. 
Oh yeah. He's like, Your disguise check is better than his, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's back to channel. Right. You haven't met, you haven't met Firefox? So, I don't know if you wanted to Fox, help or if Fox, you got other stuff going on. <laughs> You're in disguise? <laughs> right. All right, so that would be a 22 on my Arcana to look so for clues. Before you before you uh, start looking for clues, mm -hmm. did you remember to say Belloc as you walked through the tunnel? Of course. Okay. It's been expended. Unless they recast it. <laughs> it kind of recast it. I would try it regardless, just to make sure. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So you walk in. It's not magic. It is spotless in here. Yeah. Like, I have had magic. Um, you weren't here the last time that they came here. Um, but, like, every stitch of furniture has been taken off. Um, okay. It, with the exception of one table where a note laid. Um, and you got, I'm sorry, what on your... I was a 22 Arcana. As it, they used magic to trap to... Yeah, they sung a song. To pack things up, yeah, so there might be re it. residual magical energies. Piggy, piggy. Yeah. A trail, maybe breadcrumbs yeah. of magic sure. to follow. Breadcrumbs of magic, yes. Yeah. That's, I think, all um, so breadcrumbs of magic lead back <laughs> to um, a door that you did not go through. Okay. Um, and um, that's where, yeah, that's where the, it, it leads through beyond the door, but you would have to open the door first. Can I cast knock and open the door? I mean, I, if I had a rogue, I could have him pick a lock, but... You could have him look. Go ahead. Look to see if it's unlocked or trapped. Yes, exactly. I'll stand the requisite 35 feet back. Okay. So, right. um, this is be where you're in, uh, You're investigating to see if... What, don't... No! <laughs> <laughs> we can hint to it, I but think if you use... That's... Yeah, that's... Which, that's, that's, that's yeah. No. 15 seconds. It's oh. fine. Oh, man. I'm still... I feel like there's going to be a cop. <laughs> yeah, shaped cop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so make an investigation check to... Done messed up now. Check. I'm taking you in. 20. Okay, 20. So you thoroughly inspect the door. Uh, you do not believe it's trapped, um, and it appears to be unlocked. Cool. Okay. Um, so you open the door, and immediately the smell uh, of what's beyond the door overwhelms you. Um, as you see about eight zombies that are uh, standing Good in fun. this room, and they Thanks begin so to come, to your brains. come towards <laughs> you. Now, I'm going to allow um, one attack roll, one um, spell, or one ability check Ooh, cast grease. to attempt to knock these <laughs> zombies out. So, can um, I just close the door? No, we have to no, take out the zombies. they immediately start to... Uh, right. Misty, to, step away. And just let him deal with it. <laughs> I'm 35 feet back. I'm good. It's the brave thing to do. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing to get rid of these zombies? <clears throat> Ooh. I will say that... In this room, one. when um, I had it set up, there was a bunch of... Can you maximize fireball work? centered on that. the... Well, I got can protection from I evil. I could, uh, I could cast it on him, and then the undead would have a disadvantage on any attack rolls against him while he fights them off. Yeah. Could okay. do that. I could Is that do what that. you want to do? Um, well, it's either that or make him slip and slide around with grace. <laughs> Ooh, um, which slip is... Slip and slide, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's, that's kind of your style. It really is. Well, I can just keep backing up and... Plucking them right. full of arrows, but I mean, I can look right. it up, I suppose. Well, um, it's going to cost me a few arrows. Them with arrows? Yeah, me too. If there's eight of them, that's going to be a few arrows to plunk away. I got a ten foot. Eight of them. Eight arrows. Eight zombies. Eight yeah. arrows. Yeah. Uh, ten um, foot um, square, centered and plunk within maybe. range. So basically, I put that in front of the door, and then they all slip and slide as they um, try to get to the door. They don't have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws, but they do have a six dex, so <laughs> it is difficult for them to. To make a DC 16? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think Xenos would use Grease right in front of the door. Okay. On so the inside of the door. So okay. they start slipping and falling. Mm -hmm. And then um, why don't you make one attack roll for me, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, Does he get advantage because I got, got the other thief with us fighting? Well, I don't want to step into the Grease, so that's a 14 with the bow. Um, 14 so with the bow. It, takes, uh, it takes some time. Um, you definitely... Get, take some damage uh, during the fight, and yeah, Chatham, uh, uh, Channing is there, and he um, helps with the the fighting, and um, you're able to take them out. Like shooting zombies in a grease pile. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So um, once you get through the yeah, grease the and the gore, yeah. um, 
to, into the next room. Um, there is Slip. there, there oh. is a um, zombie guts section of the wall that, as you're kind of um, detecting magic through here, mm -hmm. um, you notice that this could have been used as a portal, okay, but is no longer active. Okay. Um, and is there anything I could do to try to figure out where that portal might have gone? You can make another arcom check if you like. No, that's 17. Um, it would appear that this portal um, it has gone to um, a very um, hot, humid area uh, to the south called Chult. Chult? Chult. It's a continent. Wasn't there something else that was going on at Chult? Uh, yeah, there was a group of... Uh, Tiefling pirates that had been discovered in Chult. That's not, not that important, probably. Okay. Was there was there a ship like a uh, specific I think, ship? I think the specific <laughs> ship was the Hellish Wind. Yeah, that sounds. Well, that ship is somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> that ship's impounded by. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> by his people. Yeah. All right. So we need a portal to Chult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You've so, been to Chult, haven't you? Or we just <laughs> sail the Chult of Personality. <laughs> How far oh. away is it? I should know that. I would give you. After all, but. That is actually a. Uh, so when when Tomb of Annihilation came out, that was a stream name, and I was oh. like, oh, I want that so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why didn't points. I think of the tilt of personality? Anyway. Why did I just suddenly get a? So that is everybody's checks. gone, correct? You've gone. Mm -hmm. You went to the church. Did, yeah. Okay, so um, so we are now on day three. Wow. Um, the night of day two passes, um, and this time, not Xenos, uh, but Sarsaro, yeah. you, oh. um, mm -hmm. dream boys. You, I've got a dream, I've got a dream. <laughs> you dream of Whoops. a, a, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, kids get more of that either. <laughs> a roar, um, louder than anything you've ever heard, um, it actually trembles, um, buildings and buildings crack um, because of this roar and then immediately afterward there is a wall of fire that wipes everything that you can see um, from existence uh, wow. it is very uh, Sarah Connor Terminator 2 oh, no. um, t style dream and then you wake up in just a <gasps> sweat um, and if you hadn't oh, not expended water. any resources <laughs> um, you would definitely not have gotten them back <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so it is day three of the Blackheart Council, um, and at this point, um, Zago Gastabon, um, a runner from Gastabon's estate, mm -hmm. um, says that Gastabon is prepared to uh, give you a tour of uh, Emmerich's Keep. That's good. I think we got a tour we want to do. Does everyone else want to tag along on I this tour go. today? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I think that might be one that Let's everyone see might get. <coughs> Future throne. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm sorry. What? Excuse me. What? No, I'd like to go. I said. Oh. I'd love to see the hurricane throne. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I've got to be at work pretty soon, so I'll I'll see you there. Oh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> at, double at work. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why are you what? covered in mud? <laughs> yeah, it's like, Hold on. <laughs> Where's some leaves? The right. boss is gonna be pissed if I don't show up on time. Yeah. Make a note. We need to pay him more so he doesn't have to work two jobs. He has to <laughs> It's distracting. I like to have my crew loyal all the time, not you know working. Wait, we get paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> I was gonna say. Never mind. We're good. Let's go. My pouch is a little. My pouch is a little light lately. To uh, Emmerich's Keep. Okay. So so Emmerich's Keep <laughs> is your typical um, pirate fort. I believe we've all seen um, at least parts of the. Um, what was it? It's not the Black Pearl. Um, uh, boobs and Buccaneers, the Black, black Sails. sails. Yeah. Um, and basically, <laughs> like, think of the fort there, <laughs> or a fort in the Caribbean that would be used to fight off pirates, uh, that the pirates now hold. I think so. they use so swords. Basically, the pirates of the Caribbean would use the fort there. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, just, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if we're, we're going to so steal this, if we're going to steal this, it's yeah. not. It's also, not I have pretty, a lightsaber. But it does have thick. 
<laughs> Sorry, it says so on my sheet. <laughs> Do you activate it when you activate your eel skin armor? Yeah. So that, so then it goes, and then I... <laughs> um, electric eel. Yeah. <laughs> Pazago just goes, I have unlimited power. Yeah. yeah. yeah you didn't you get know. your hand chopped off. Yeah. And it's a whole thing. Um, okay. So wow. you guys journey to Emmerich's uh, keep. Uh, Gastabon is in the entryway waiting for you guys to show up. And um, it is not a pretty keep because it is built for function, not uh, not form. Sure. Um, and he says, uh, yeah, let, let me show you around. So he, uh, the first place that he shows you is where the Black Heart Council is typically held. Um, it is, uh, he, he shows an, uh, a massive stone table. It has got to be huge because it has a fire giant seated at it. Um, not presently. And uh, not presently. It's a trap! <laughs> and um, he, this is the man you want. <laughs> he, he says this is where Emmerich um, initially held his um, pirate meetings. Um, this is the, uh, the black heart table. Um, it is made from a uh, earth titan that um, was carved from its chest. That's how it got its name. Hmm. A lot of elementals are being used as furniture now. <laughs> That's true. There's an earth one there. Uh, and water there's one a water, water one. one there. Mm -hmm. There's a whole temple of statues, elemental eye people that worship mm -hmm. elemental. Was Emmerich a member of that religion? Of the cult of uh, the elemental eye? Yeah. Um, why don't you guys make a history check? History, religion, no. history, untrained. How about insight? Circs fifteen. Um, <laughs> beats my ten. Insight to Seventeen. Tell if is lying to you. Um, what'd you guys get? A seventeen untrained. And you got a fifteen. I got fifteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Um, Gastavan says, I don't know that he necessarily was or wasn't. It was a thousand years ago. Does it really matter at this point? And you, you believe that there. Are it seems like there's a lot of coincidences happening here. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe we should. We have a sales pitch. I mean, we can get him in now. <laughs> do it. <laughs> He's going to be the do first you, in our Do you in set up your time. easel? Remember, start drawing the circle. We can only get to four layers deep within this island. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to piece. expand the fine. market at some point. Well, he's yeah. got an in at Cormier. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. We'll just we'll, we'll we'll yeah, yeah, slowly let's expand. Move over let's there. go yeah. to Cormier. We're going yeah. to Chult. We're going to Chult. Cormier. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of people at Chult who are also interested in fine business. Good, because that's the next uh, that's the next destination. They have a, a strong mix of like super wealthy nobles, yeah. uh, merchant kings yeah. in Chult, and then really poor people. So yeah. you, I mean, you got two, two levels that you can yeah, pray we could totally there. get there. <laughs> yeah. So he shows you around. Um, he says that typically um, uh, influential citizens and. Uh, maybe not pirate lords, but pirate captains are welcome to watch in the balconies as uh, the pirate council commences. Um, he says below um, below the street there are um, dungeons uh, where he says, I believe... Oh yeah, it's interesting. I want to take a look Seven at those dungeons, dungeons there. Yeah. Yeah. So he takes... I'm going to stop in front of the throne. Okay. What happens if I sit on that? Uh, he doesn't recommend it. <coughs> Does anybody know? He says uh, there's been legends of bad things happening uh, with someone who does not have the hurricane crown sitting on that throne. So what we need I to just, do... I, I look at the throne and I go, you are doing a great job of being a throne. And I walk away. <laughs> what we need... Where, where is the hurricane crown? I have a plan. Or a crown. If we oh, all... Gosh. If you guys just all, like, crouch down next to the throne... Then we get a few other guys, and we just push Volgrim so he falls onto the <laughs> throne. Fire giant and a water throne. What could possibly what could go possibly wrong? Go wrong? What if we just find an elemental and convince it to shape, <laughs> shape itself into a crown. <laughs> yeah. and convince Volgrim it's the crown, and then there he you should go. work. So he t he leads you down. Uh, the dungeons are two levels below the street. Um, as you're walking through the dungeon, there. Are it's not super populated. Um, there's a few people in here. Um, you happen by a um, a door, a caged 
door that where a elf is singing a sad song, and um, you you, you happen need, to recognize Devin. You uh, you need to work on your. your you are singing. tone deaf. It's been it's been a while, but it's been a while. Says I usually do better with my lute. Yeah, well, I mean, they don't let you keep your lute in here. So that's a nice set of armor you got there. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> picked it up somewhere. <laughs> Speaking of which, are there any guards here? Yeah, there are definitely guards. Okay. You saw as you kind of, as you entered the dungeon level, there were um, a set of four guards that were in the um, the entry, and then there you've seen guards patrolling. Um, okay. So there, are, it's it's not heavily guarded, but guarded enough. So. Uh, I'm, as I'm making up a fake conversation, mm -hmm. uh, I'm using message and I'm telling him the plan to break him out of there. Okay. There's a plan to break him out of there? Yeah. What's this plan? We're going to break him well, out of there. Search developing it. We have a couple fine. different days. Can I, the plan can I look around for uh, maybe trying to lift a set of keys off of the guards? Uh, whoa, whoa, leave that to the rugs. <laughs> you could definitely try. Why don't you try it? <laughs> That's uh, a 17 sleight of hand. <coughs> blessing. This green one's really not rolling well. The blessing of oh, Bumberly be upon you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. Um, 17 will probably be enough to lift a set of keys. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. I need those later. Okay. So, so I fill them in through message, but like on the top, I'm like, oh man, seen the uh, the the pirates lately? Pirating. <laughs> Like a really boring a conversation. Always be pirating. Yeah, always be pirating. <laughs> uh, okay, so does anybody else want to do anything here? I want to talk to the guards and see who they work for. Uh, they tell you that they are a privately employed group, a uh, mercenary group, that does not have ties to any one of the pirate lords. They from a network of the blackness? Uh, yeah, they do. They are employed by a, a, a darkish colored network. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, day just kill those guys. four. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing today? Um, I'm going to go to Volgrim's estate. Okay. And is anybody joining you at Volgrim's uh, estate? A gnome in a bag. Zado. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a gnome in the bag. A gnome in the bag. Okay, and what do you do with the gnome in the bag? Did we disguise him first? Uh, he is in a set of. Um, do you want. Do you Nicus's want to maybe have me disguise him first for the day before you take him over there? Yeah, also. I mean, um, the two of you could have disguise kits, so you can yeah, work you just, together on you that. Also, we also want to like mar his, uh, mar his face a little bit. Okay, do you have a. a, a, a found did. item that you could uh, use to mar his face? Like the, like the curb, or yeah. <laughs> this brick. <laughs> Jeez. This uh, octopus. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, sorry. Do you wanna do you wanna assist my roll sure. for the thing? Well, who's got the higher bonus? Well, uh, it's deception, right? Yes. So I have a plus eleven. Oh yeah, that's better than mine. Oh, you really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm the, the for a trustworthy. I'm very trustworthy. <laughs> and he'll tell Wait, you. wait. Do you want me to give you a bonus to that? Another bonus? Yeah. Like is yeah, it a D four bonus? Sure. Called an, uh, enhanceability, I'll take I believe. The 10 well, of I could eight. even just do guidance, which guidance would no, give you a D four. Okay, and cool. Can't Oof, so I mean that's only a twenty three deception. Okay, check. so when he starts working over it and you're like uh Cirque turns back around and he's like, Nick is no <laughs> 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 so, so we don't see his like what have I, I, done? I imagine like you and me, we have the disguise kit out, and uh -huh. I'm sitting there, and Nick, I ha we're at the the other estate, and I'm like, yes, Nick, is estate. stand still. I got it. No, your eye twitches just a little. <laughs> I can make that eye stop twitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, what have we done? Now we can just use Nick as a <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Does he want two Nick? <laughs> so you take uh, a disguised dead gnome mm -hmm. to um, Holgram's estate, yep. and what do you do? You I just knock on the door. <laughs> you just knock on the door. Okay. Um, and do you announce yourself as uh, Cirque from knock, knock, the Tempest Ranger? Yeah. Okay. So they're they're impressed by you because they've, yeah, they've champion heard of the fair tell wind. that you're yeah. the champion yeah. of the Fairwind Tavern. You, you may have also said that they were all pussies. Yeah. 
So they let you in. Because they are. <laughs> they are. I mean, well, they a, didn't fight. It's true. I'm, I'm just throwing it out They there. let you in. They just what, did. What's yeah. your plan here? I'm going to go see if I can get an audience with Volgrim. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can walk. Circa alone. So. That's what's going to possibly go um, wrong. So there is a half orc no here. Um, My half brother. That is. Uh, hey, Devin, man. <laughs> I guess Amazon is having an issue today. Ooh. Oh, really? really? It just now let him log in. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Um, it's Prime Day. So, oh, it's Prime. Aaron, do you it remember yeah. what that half-work's name is? Uh, yeah, Amazon actually, I have it or, here. Amazon Web Services. Mm. John? Uh, I couldn't I believe, get in huh, this, so. like, this afternoon okay. at all. Wow. So there yeah. is a half-work that um, hmm? works the grounds here. Work here. Hmm. He um, he lets you in. His name's Theric. Theric. You get an audience with Volgrim. And Volgrim... Compared to uh, Cirque, he's massive. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> quite <laughs> large. Whoa. Yeah. And he says, I hear that you have something for me. It better be good. Yeah. And I dump out the bag with the body in it. I'm like, I hear you wanted that. He says, yes, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. He stomps on his head. <laughs> <laughs> All my work. <laughs> I get a rope out and I enough. put it on his chest and I go out to the farthest point and I'm like, distance. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he says, is there anything else you'd like? Um, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm supposed to ask you if um, I can get you to come to the council meeting. Can you bring a tiefling that you know here so I can do that as well to him? I can bring him there. I don't know if you can stop. I mean, that head is. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big head. It's huh? inflated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer um, to Plus do that the horns. in the comfort of my own home. But um, you say that he's going to be there. Yeah. I I don't I can't drag him here. He he's... tells me no. Okay. <laughs> he couldn't uh, tell me make no. A check. Oh yeah. It's one of the Oh yeah. Six. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says, well, I'll tell you what. So you bring the dwarf that hangs out with your crew here, and I'll stomp him, and then I'll go to the parrot council and stomp Kazaga. The dwarf. Craig? Yeah, Craig. <laughs> How many people are we going to have to kill just to get this guy to there, Oh, we are I not know, killing Craig. Is there more there one specific? Yeah, you can kill a random dwarf. Uh, more. And a random gnome. No. Okay, I'll kill a random okay. dwarf. Can you just kill a random dwarf? Jesus, I'll Big beard. <laughs> Do you? Okay. I'll, 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 I, I, we, we have a few dwarves. Okay. But, it, but he's friends with Vizago. As far as I know. Okay. I will find the one that's friends with Vizago. Um, okay. So, Xenos and uh, Sarsro. Yes. We're together today. Yes, we are. What are we doing today? Let's talk about dreams. Okay. I've had some weird ones lately. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, combined, what are we doing about our dreams? So, in your dream... Yeah. There was this horny dark yes. elf lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your dream? Uh, a lot less yeah. enticing. Uh, there was Sorry. a big roar <laughs> mm -hmm. and then a big fire. Yeah, fire's cool. The fire, like fire destroyed everything. Fire does that. That's what makes it cool. I feel like it was a message about a particular scaly red friend of ours. No, no. You don't it, think so? No. I think it is. No, I think I, it's, I think it's a message that we should just burn <laughs> this whole, whole fort to the ground. We can't burn the whole fort to the ground. What, because made of stone? Yes. That's a good point. Stone melts. Eventually. It okay. does, yeah. Uh, we're going to jump ahead. So that'll be insight then to learn about our dreams? <laughs> sure, if you yeah. want to. Visago has to a, a uh, diorama. Uh, I'm actually I trained in insight. I am trained in Yeah, your insight's better than mine. So true. <laughs> All right. He's just got That's like a awesome. little magic. Uh, so a 17. <laughs> uh, okay, so 17. Yeah. So you, in doing some research uh, awesome. into uh, Zenos' dream, you believe that Zenos dreamed of a night hag. Okay. Which is not a phase creature. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the night hag was the storm crown. We knew right. that. Yeah, it definitely so I probably... fits the bill. Um, Jump to conclusions. Night hags are not mm -hmm. fey; they're fiends. So okay. they're, um, they like to make contracts. They're devils, um, and it appears as you though. Deal with the devil? I, not that Zenos I knew. 
Yeah, he, he actually there. made a few. What? Um, Remember when I asked whether you're cool with me slaying around with you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, deal with the devil. Yeah, deal with the devil. <laughs> um, so, and you're, you, you have a strong thing out of it. We didn't negotiate your a deal. dream was a permanent. Yeah, that's what you think. That's what I thought. Yeah. About How do we negotiate? Rosan. Let's no, bring no, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Soon. Right. Right. I mean, if you didn't read the contract, that's um, Okay, so we are, because it is already 7.35, we're going to jump, no! jump ahead a little You have little no authority bit. to sign contracts. Um, so it's that, in your contract. That was um, day four. So we're going to jump ahead to day seven. So day seven, um, Sarsarel is approached by a dwarf. A uh, dwarf in red uh, leather armor. Okay. Um, he, you've seen him before. His name is Durkin Firebolt. Oh. And he Blacksmith. says, "Yes. Greetings, brother Sarsaro. You have made a deal to meet with us again in a week, and it has been a week." Oh, great. Wow. And I, I'm fully dressed. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is awkward. You know what? We actually were talking to one of the pirate lords about. Uh, about becoming a member. Really? Yeah. No, we're uh, we're definitely working on on our dance stream right now. Okay. And uh, we think we might have to take our recruiting efforts off island a little bit. Oh, good. Do you know if Emmerich was a member by any chance? No, I believe he was. We had a hunch that maybe. Well, that helped that the maybe commercial materials. I mean. Uh, <laughs> We could definitely, we could definitely maybe really uh, make some flyers or something, <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, some like pamphlets. Um, he he joins, <clears throat> takes you aside, and away from everyone else. Okay. And he says, um, "This isn't information that I would normally share with everyone." And then he bring, brings out a flute and he starts. Playing. <laughs> 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 no, um, he it's says, just silence. Um, yeah. <laughs> "Our mission, um, our group's mission, is to find." shards of purple crackling energy that um, we believe can be used to break the links of the chain that shackle our deity. Um, really? Yeah. And um, we we believe that there is a there is a shard of just this uh, value on Lith um, and the the uh, group of uh, underlings that we've sent there sh will surely find it. Um, but they are spread throughout the realms, and uh, we would like you to search for them. Do you know? I you asked him. San Jose, you <laughs> Do you know anything about the current whereabouts or any clues pertaining to the crown? Of is, it, the, oh, is it the elemental crown? Uh, the, the hurricane. The, the hurricane crown. Um, he does not know. He says that that was um, that was rumored to be um, found only by solving the riddle of Imrik, and no one has been able to solve it. Where's that riddle found? Uh, he says it's that in the left pocket. <laughs> if you find his body, it's in his left breast pocket. No, um, <laughs> he says um, there is a there is a map in Imrik's hold that leads is rumored to lead to the riddle. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Is that on the throne, or is it? It's in. It, no, it's in the hold. Itself. It's in the hold. Yeah. Is it a paper map mm -hmm. hidden away someplace? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Now well, you've given you to me. Make an insight check. Okay. That is a twenty-five. If it's not blatantly obvious, the shards that he described are shards similar to, to the one that Adam the one that yeah the world Corvin. Out. Has been collecting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe he's already a member maybe. of the cult. Yeah. Maybe we're in his downstream and we don't even realize it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> One, two, um, three, okay. four, five. So what else are you guys doing on day seven? I'm going to tell him about the <clears throat> treasure map that's inside of Emmerich's old. I'm asking dwarves if they like him. Okay. Dwarves, Somewhere if they inside. like him. Yeah, um, there is one dwarf. Well, that we likes have to find him. Very much. His name is Craig. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I like Craig though. <laughs> <laughs> How do we go about searching the Emmerich hold for this treasure map? I mean, can I go back that, in there? That would be a skill challenge. Uh, can just, I go in there you today? Accomplish it. Yeah. 
All right. You just tell the rogue who's working there. Yeah, he's working there. Wait, oh, yeah. we have a rogue that's working <laughs> no, there? No, no, it's a ranger. Oh, ranger. okay, cool. All right, hey, so, ranger, I need you to track down a treasure map. <laughs> yeah. And if you can find the rogue, so yeah. you can disarm <laughs> Well, I, I could probably sneak in on my own, but... <clears throat> or do we have free reign of the place? You don't have free reign of the place, no. But we have the map of the, I mean, of the, the hole. Of the keep. So... Um, can I use the map to try to narrow down where I might think that the map know. is? Can you? Why don't you make an investigation check? Find the map. Find the map. Or a stealth check. How about that? Stealth? Oh, okay. Stealth to sneak on to the, the place. Well, that's a 16. Okay, 16 is... Okay. Um, are you going with him? Oh, yeah. All right. You want me to make my stealth? Yeah. 27. 27. So, are you he gives along? you... Foxfire you know, gives you pointers on how to stealth better. <clears throat> uh, because he got 11 better than you. I don't have a penalty to my stealth check, mm -hmm. I say, proudly. So <laughs> I'm trained you guys are able to make your way uh, using disguises um, through Emmerich's hole. So he smears you with mud? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Yeah. Um, no. no. I am small, he's, I can sneak he's around got, just He's fun. got two tree pages, but every time he goes up, you're like, I'm gonna up. <laughs> this is guys, the stupidest thing ever. No wonder I got a 16 on my stealth. You guys are walking around. Um, and he's just like, hold on, shrub, let yeah. me pull out my disguise kit. And it's just uh, <laughs> like a clay jar <laughs> filled with mud. And he's just and like, <laughs> now you're camouflaged. <laughs> and I'm camouflaged too. Yeah. No one will ever see us. But the good thing is we smell bad enough. They're going to leave us alone. That's right. Which is so only good against the predator. search <laughs> through um, the keep oh, well. and mm -hmm. believe that you found a... Um, what are those weird humanoid-shaped lumpy spots next a, to the wall? <laughs> a door that appears to be locked, um, and you um, you believe that that's probably um, where the map would be. Knock. Is so knock makes a very loud what? noise. What? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, it is the <laughs> loudest <laughs> spell there is. So you yeah, let me don't check that. Cast knock. Sure. Hold on. And if it's the loudest spell it is, I would know to, that. Um, <laughs> Just about I mean, Thunder two. Wave is pretty loud. Yeah. Well, besides his horn that makes a sound for like a mile. And Merfolk show up. Three, three miles. Three miles. <laughs> three miles. Three miles. There's alarm. <laughs> There's, okay, knock. Transmutation. One action. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's the last line. Oh, yeah, I'm not casting knock. Yeah. What, is, <laughs> what, is, what is specifically does it say? How far away can you hear it? Uh, it says, I think it was 300 meters. Mm. Yeah, so you just about cast knock, and, and then I remember. Fox fires like, wait, 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 <laughs> hold on. It's probably just 300 feet. <laughs> it's 300 just feet. a mini game where you have to yeah. do the thumbs of the. Mm -hmm. okay. The. I got yeah. the picks in the tumblers ready to yeah. turn. All okay. right, all right. Do, do it. you do, you do you have uh, proficiency with lock picks? I yes, I do. Okay, so, so I can so give you, you advantage. <laughs> advantage. Not that I necessarily. Wait, oh, we'll need all the help you can oh. get. Jinx it, double okay. ones. Okay, yeah. yeah. What would you get? Uh, a up. three and an 18, so. <laughs> Not that I'll need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open my mouth. Uh, which one were we... Which one was it doing? You're going to use the 18. It's the 18. Yeah, no, I know I'm 18. <laughs> Which check? Roll dexterity check to remove your foot from your mouth. It's dex. Dex. Dex plus proficiency. Plus Got proficiency. it. Plus proficiency. So 18 plus proficiency is 25. Oh, look at that. So it pops right open. Mm. It's a good thing your captain is here to show you how to pick that lock. <laughs> would likely not pop that lock open. So you open the door. It makes no noise. Not like a, a, a bong of a gong that sounds for three 300 meters um and inside is a very well kept but definitely unused um estate room and uh you believe that given where you are this is probably Imerk's estate room when he was Ooh, alive smells better than the zombie room you had me open earlier doesn't it our <clears throat> taste of places to go exploring has improved all right, so um, looking around for anything valuable, interesting, like treasure maps and treasure. Sure. Uh, you can make a perception check, if you'd like. Okay. Or investigation, if that's better for you. Um, perception would be nine, or investigation, you say? Yeah. Which would be 10, so I'll go with the 10. 10. Okay. 
Um, it looks nice, but there's not anything particularly uh, treasurable. Hmm. What'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Again, <clears throat> it looks nice. I mean, you could toss it and um, and get success with with uh, cost, um, but you don't really find anything. It just looks like this is how Emmerich left it, but the treasure has probably been removed. Do you want to Zuna. success with a cost? Yeah. Okay. So you are in the middle of just kind of, not necessarily tearing the room to pieces, but in order, Carefully to, tearing to, pieces. In order to find this um, this treasure map, uh, you believe that it, it might be hidden in here. So you start removing the drawers and stuff like that, and hidden up under a drawer, halfway covered, um, is a piece of parchment. Okay. And just as you're pulling it out, mm -hmm. um, you see a patrol of guards walk in uh, the basically the doorway, which was allowing light to filter into the room, uh, goes black because a group of guards is standing there saying, and what do we have here? Um, well, um, it's, it's good. It's fortunate that you're here to good. help us. Good. Uh, we were sent to um, get some things for the uh, upcoming meeting. Interesting. So that would be a deception? <laughs> that would be a deception. <laughs> that would be a 20 on my deception. Okay. Not quite the, uh, the trustworthy bard. You know, at, at yeah. this I'm going to take disadvantage because you're not really not supposed to be in here. How do they know? They're just cards. So that's a seven, a sixteen. A sixteen. It's not pretty good. I like my twenty, but all I right. Think it's so a 16. they're not really buying it. Um, what are you gonna do? There is an open. There is a window that you could misty jump, step. jump out. Of I could misty door. step away. You leave disguised. me in there. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's he true. He just leans up against the wall. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, mask of the wild. Yeah, you, it's it's dark. It's dark. <laughs> I, hide. Can, I can hide. Do you want to hide? I'm going to hide. Okay, so make your hide check. As you're looking, at, <laughs> you're looking at Xenos, he just goes, oof. Yeah, he does that. Uh, well, that is only a 13. Okay, so you dive under the bed. And <laughs> you get the sense that they're focused on Xenos. So at this point, they have not really, either they have not taken notice of you, or they don't give a crap. Uh, because Xenos has the, the parchment. About the and a flamboyant And he's got, like, <laughs> the... The center drawer of the desk pulled out, <laughs> and he's looking under it, pulling this out. Uh -huh. So, what are you gonna do, Zenos? Um, well, I guess I'll um... grease first. <laughs> well, if I grease, I can't missy step, right? Because that's a that's I not a cantrip. Grease. I feel like grease should be a cantrip for you. At this it point. should be, right? <laughs> it's a um, spell. Yeah. So, can I grease? can I grease them as a as I roll up the parchment? Sure. Like, what? What? Watch your steps there. Okay. And they, <laughs> okay. And they let me let me roll a check for them. Uh, DC oh, 16. Oh, natural 20. Um, so <laughs> they should have disadvantage. So they start <laughs> walking armor. towards you. What are you gonna do? Now this is your your turn. Is it a new turn now? It is a new turn. Well, um, you're hidden under the bed, right? Yeah. You're you're secure. You're safe. Don't yep. have to worry about you. Nope. All right. I can miss the. Uh, what's outside the window? Um, you, all you can see is the bay. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I can misty step about 30 feet to a uh -huh. place I can see. Uh-huh. So, where would 30 feet out the window put me? It would put you midair above the bay. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You don't have my hat. Who needs your hat? Swimmer, right? I'm a, a great boat. swimmer. It turns it's into a boat. A boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You just... Great. <laughs> boat, and you just... You that, would be, that would be <laughs> fantastic. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so, uh... You know what? I'm gonna misty step out past the other way, them. okay, into the hallway. So you misty step past them, and I'm, it, there's got to be in the hall. Uh -huh. There must have been some places where I could hide. Yeah. So I'm gonna misty step to a place that I could hide, and then okay, hide. Make your head. <laughs> That's an eleven on my stealth. What did you get? I got a four. Four. Okay. As an good. eleven on my stealth as to always. hide. Okay. As so, I. Um, you're holding a sheet. Wait. <laughs> wait. No, he's got your stupid like shrubbery he bushes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that would be a 19 on myself. That's Thank you. Okay. Better. So, you 
feel like you're totally hidden. And for probably the next hour and a half, you can't move from your hiding spot because <laughs> oh, they're crap. just searching everywhere oh for you. Um, and they eventually give up and go back um, and report <laughs> what they found to someone. Um, but at that point, you guys are able to make your escape. Mm -hmm. You're definitely burned at this point. He is definitely burned at this point in his disguise. The success with a cost is there goes my is burned. Um, well, so, you saw me. I was hiding under the bed. Okay. So, um, that was day seven. Did I skip anyone? Did I, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Aaron, what uh, did you want to do? On I was going to meet with Mara Winchrider and help her prepare her uh, presentation. Okay. Um, are, you, are you trained in performance? I am. I would hope so as a part. <laughs> yeah. Um, Going over a PowerPoint. So why don't you um, give her a um, just some pointers? Yeah. And uh, yeah. make your roll. Uh, that would be 17. Okay. Yeah. You feel like you've improved her, her speech with this. And I'm like, and what's really important is when you say this part, I'm going to do this. And I cast Thermaturgy. <laughs> So all when the she's, windows uh, open. Just, just, no, no, her <laughs> voice just starts booming. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So, so remember, when he says objection, you say, you don't talk to me. And then... So um, we're going to skip ahead again to day nine. Um, so day nine, um, you guys wake up. Um, and as you're <clears throat> kind of, you know, danger, the danger has passed. We'll go ahead and turn off the danger music. Um, so I as think you, it's only your voice for thermaturgy. I don't um, think you can cast that. I think it'll else. be okay. I think I could throw my voice. Um, it's, I can sound like Mira Winchester. So, <laughs> you guys, as you're kind of getting prepared for the day, um, you come down, uh, eat your morning breakfast, and as you're coming down to sit together as, as a group, as I assume you were, because uh, you're family now. Yeah. You're not just mm -hmm. friends. When you're We're here, more than a crew. When you're here, you're family. Um, and there's a never-ending pasta bowl that the <laughs> Fairwind Tavern serves. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Um, but you notice um, something um, is a, a little bit amiss. It's a little set of legs that are kicking from underneath one of the tables um, uh -oh. as you come downstairs. Is it our gnome friend? Uh, I mean, they're they're, they're a little bit bigger than a gnome's legs. Oh. I go grab is it Craig. Okay, so you pull out um, Craig from a Clan Rumbletide, and he is foaming at the mouth. He is turned entirely green, and he looks like he's in the last uh, throes of being poisoned. <sighs> As a dwarf, that is an impressive. It's a pretty impressive poison. Uh, does really anybody is. have neutralized poison? Mm -mm. I mean, I have cure wounds. Is it a magical poison? Because I could cast a spell magic on it. I can also cast a spell you magic Try on that it. first. Cast okay, so you guys have a round before Craig passes from this life. So what do you guys want to do? All right, well, I'll try to spell magic. So okay. if it's a third level spell or below, it's wiped out. It's an actual poison. Okay. So spell magic will not work. All right. Howard, Craig, I what started. is Sarsarel? Do? Well, I don't have protection from poison. Not. Oh, if it is poison, you neutralize the poison. Okay. Well, but I wouldn't necessarily have repa prepared it. Is the problem? Do you want to roll uh, percentiles to see if you prepared it? Sure. Okay. So high is always good. What's okay. the percentage? I would say there's a thirty percent chance. So seventy or higher. Yeah. Nope. Didn't prepare. Oh, okay. I got a 55. So, um, is there anything that Cirque or Foxfire would like to do in this moment? You're a ranger. Don't you have some healing potion? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff some just... berries in his mouth. Yeah. <coughs> come on. Let me just and pull it out of my ranger's face with pack mine. here. And... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, I can certainly do a prayer of healing yeah. and allow him to recover some of his hit points. Mm. And then I could give him a save. But Well, he is at this point in death save land, not sure. hit point land. So, but um, I can easily give him a bonus to his death, death saving throw. Okay, too. so um, what what would his bonus be? So from I pull out a dagger. Oh, I could I do less restoration. That I would like end either one like disease or one condition. <laughs> I'm just throw it out there. there you go. <laughs> 
So that's easy enough. <laughs> okay. So you, you have that. What's the casting yeah. time of that? That is uh, okay. one action. One action. Okay, so, so you cast I'll restoration. Cast lesser restoration on him. And he kind of chokes up this just gout of vomit that, <laughs> uh, mm. that is just green and brackish. Back back it's just just all over him. Cirque. It's, uh, oh my God. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm going to have to take another bath. <laughs> I, I jump in the bay. Um, so he says that he came down early to uh, eat breakfast and um, believes he might have eaten something that disagreed with him. <laughs> I would say that you have. And I quickly cast uh, Purify Food and Drink. Okay. <laughs> so who, is who made the food? food? And um, who poisoned it? Do you want to question the staff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. But I just um, go ahead and start serving myself breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you make an investigation I, check? I am not mm, this question. I would prefer to fine. do an intimidation check. Okay. Why don't you? Uh, by saying stuff. I'm gonna start. Uh, my friend just got poisoned, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna start beating up this guy, <laughs> and we'll just keep going on to the line until it gets worse than that. And okay. I am trained in intimidation, so you get advantage. Thank no, you. Look at that. Yeah. I'll take the nine. So that would be a 20. A 20, okay. Wow. So, um, just because you rolled, what was your roll? I think a 17. Oh, okay. Not as good. Usually when everybody says that, he's giving advantage, they oh, and I, roll I, much I use I use Thermotorchy when I start yelling nice. at them. Um, <laughs> the so infernal you starts get coming. that uh, <coughs> there was someone who delivered some spices that they were using to prepare food that looked a little suspicious. Um, scales along one hand. Um, Does that ring a bell, anybody? <laughs> no. Snake people, that's weird. It does ring a bell. Yeah, <laughs> snake people. Not with this group. Not with this group. Well, well yeah, with bell with Zaga. Yeah. Okay, with the Zaga. Yeah. And Craig. Yeah, and sure. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly, Craig. Yeah. Like, so what do you want to do for the day? Time. Oh, we're going to hunt eat, that right? guy down. Everybody eat. No. Uh, we've got a map to go it's over. It's here. Uh, fine. It's fine. Okay, so you spend the day going over your map. Yep. Oh, you're going to share the map, right? I mean, that was yeah, 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 yeah. Idea. Yeah. I got a 17 survival check to see if I can track this guy. Ooh, thank <laughs> you. Is anybody else trained in survival? I they am can... also trained in survival. Oh, well, I'm like going to just try. <coughs> I'm certainly untrained in Natural survival. 25. Oh, okay, there we so go. So we'll deal with your natural 25 in just a second. I'm Doug gonna murder somebody. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Howard, um, you spend the day looking over the map. Um, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Um, you think that you might need something to interpret it, maybe a key of some sort to interpret it. Hmm. Just have Cirque look at it. It's fine. So, like <laughs> a cipher? Yeah, like a cipher. Okay. Um, so you just find his to get the book. crown, uh -huh. we need well, to solve we the riddle. I haven't told you about the crown. To so, to get the riddle, I just told you about. We the need the map, yeah. but in order to understand the map, we need the cipher. I know it's annoying, right? But <laughs> in order to get the cipher, they need to stretch out Nathan Drake's adventure somehow, and so this is how they do it. <laughs> we are gonna have to kill twenty-eight wolf cubs <laughs> to just get the also, five pristine wolf. Also, you need to get. Wolf you need to get 20 crushed bone belts. Shoot. <laughs> and right. But we get pants. And like a million wampa buttholes. <laughs> right. You need to take 17,000 copper pieces How out to the middle of nowhere. Two <laughs> are you trying to insight? I am. Um, Eric, what's the so much? Right. <clears throat> you give me a Having breakfast. Give you okay, you're going to have breakfast. Good. Are you going to assist yes. these guys with hunting down there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Monty, the oh, yeah. Poisoner? Hey, you want to eat. Now we know what we're looking for. <laughs> Actually, no. I'll go ahead and... <laughs> I, Got him! 26. 26 <laughs> insights to see if we can't figure out what the cipher might be. Okay. Um, the, um, the way that the symbols that you just can't understand are uh, made out, it looks like if you had a jewel of significant size with a, a decent cut, it would be able to... Bring the images together okay. to reveal what they are. We need a big jewel. <coughs> yeah. There's um, one in there. So you guys got a natural 25 to, to survival, yes. The, um, the Duwanti. 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 Um And that tracks the Iwanti down. Um, so it tracks the Iwanti back to um, a 
layer in the sewers, because of course, sewers. I'm um, gonna get lost. It's like they're under the whole city. Yeah, just, it's like they're no, everywhere. I'm, I'm still gonna get lost. <laughs> so uh, you were able <laughs> with the natural twenty-five. You were able to get there without them notice, without the sentries noticing you. What do you do? So, um, how many sentries do they out? have? And kill some people. Uh, there appears to be two sentries. Two sentries. And then you, while tracking them here, you get the sense that this is a fairly small <sighs> group of Yuanti mm-hmm. because most of them were killed yeah. in Vulgrim's attack. Yeah. Um, so there are two sentries what outside. Wipe them out. Uh, I I have a I have well eventually we'll wipe them out. A, a madness crown appears over one of their nope. heads. Oh okay. He does have friend of foe. It's called Crown of Madness. <laughs> Color spray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those two cards are dead. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Circ, round one. Super break neck. overpowered <laughs> spell. Five, six, seven, eight. I haven't eight, looked at color I'm spray. casting at a higher level, so it's I get not two as more. Good. Are you putting them to sleep? Yeah. yeah. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Orb is better. Uh, Thirty-five hit points worth of Awantis go to sleep. They go both go to sleep. I crush both of their necks. Okay, you crush them. So, um, ex- uh, so describe to me quickly um, how you guys go into this Yuanti den and clear it out. Like, what happens? I go rage monster. Okay. <laughs> and just start beating guys to death with their friends. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's a quick way to kill them uh, because you kill two at a time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric, what's uh, Foxfire doing? During? Standing by the doorway in case any of them try to slip past uh, oh, the, the there rage definitely monster. Definitely one sneak yeah. past. <clears throat> one of them. We want to keep one alive. Mm-hmm. So as he comes running out, I'm just gonna step into the doorway and oh. grab him. All right, you grab him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron, anything else? Any group of them that's still left gets thunder waved. Okay, they get <laughs> thunder waved and blasted away. Yeah, All right. yeah that's so round have, one, and then circus yeah. round two. You have. <laughs> One, so I just, Yuanti. I'm holding. What are you doing with him? So you have some interesting choices and in culinary tastes. Uh, he says um, that you you betrayed them, and Yuanti Justice demands that that. Oh, I don't. I, I don't actually care about your Yuanti Justice though. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, Snake Arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Uh, so, some of you survived, huh? Yeah. Wasn't all that bad, right? No, it was really bad. Okay. Was really, Look, some really of you are bad. still around. Hey, Volgrim's now a friend of mine. Should I take him to Volgrim? Uh, I mean, we could take him to Volgrim. I mean, he I don't know. starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, don't I know wouldn't you know. say. It's really Lee difficult to hold him right, yeah. too, because he's, like, he's got, got the snake, side, snake you know, arms. Like, yeah. and, so. and then we're sitting there, I'm like, Maybe I don't know if you know this, like, Cirque, yeah. but yeah. this is the mysterious other member of the group that... Uh, Robbed him, so that's unfortunate for him. I guess Volgrim would really like to see you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, if he asked you while you're pleading, mm-hmm. go ahead and let him know. I'll, I'll see him at the meeting. Okay. So you guys. Take, <laughs> yeah, take I choke him out. Last, okay. So you choke him out. You take him back to Volgrim. He stomps on his head, predictably. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I measure that distance he out does, to. Him. Yeah. He says. Uh, he says, "Do you have anything to tell me?" And he says something about. Zago in a meeting and just <laughs> <laughs> all right um okay so that was day nine yep. okay so uh day 10 what are you guys doing i need to find a dwarf okay I, we don't need to give him a dwarf what? He's gonna come. Uh, I mean, right. yeah. If he, you get the sense that you, you yeah piqued his interest. We got him. Do um, we recall a sizable gem that we ran across in the tour? In the tour. Um, why don't you or, guys make a history check? Or what is what is used to amplify the light of, say, a lighthouse? Mm. 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 Eight history, so it's like it's a seventeen. <clears throat> Six. Untrained seventeen. Good job. Okay. 14. So, um, with your 17s, um, you do remember there was a lighthouse attached oh, yeah. to the keep. So um, the gem that's used to reflect the to refract the light yeah. is probably strong that's enough. That's right. To, but so first, you've got to find some dollars because that you know the 
the Illuminati hold the key? <laughs> I called it up. Okay, so what's oh the, my what's, God, the gold, what's the gold to dollar exchange rate? Is, uh, Ten dollars? So, so Did you know I, that I go walk that up and down the George beach. Washington's head becomes a mushroom if you hold it very well? <laughs> a mushroom cloud. Oh. So you um, are you guys gonna go to the the lighthouse? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can get into the lighthouse, no problem. There's okay. not a lot of guards. Not a ton of security. Okay. Um, and as you go up to the top, um, so you, we find the loneliest man in existence. Yeah, there's a lonely <laughs> man when when the storms roll in. His his day is set. He mm. has a full plan, um, and uh, it's going to take a persuasion check to get him to a persuasion check. Look at the I lighthouse. Mean, I suppose uh, I can the gem. Be persuaded to make a persuasion check. Talk him into it. Persuasion. Uh, okay, so that would be a 22. Okay. Your, your friend Cirque wants to know about light. Do you know, so you talk him into allowing you to look at the, um, no. the diamond. Um, and if you can make a distraction, <coughs> maybe you could use it to, to look at the map. Yeah. Um, and um, you think that this diamond is worth about 500 gold pieces. That's how big it is. Um, pretty big. And as you are, hey, anybody got uh, the chisel? Spell, the precedent to take you know, put a fake one up there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll last an hour. Yeah, it'll be uh, fine. Yeah. Basically the same thing. Um, and as you're kind of, uh, I'm assuming someone's making a distraction and, and oh, I make I'll a start distraction. performing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you you talk to him about the sea and the last time. There oh, was I a really I sing him storm. I sing him a song about the yeah. sea and you know the lonely and watchman then, uh, who meets a beautiful directly maid. Directly behind him, Zenos yeah. is like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zenos, you feel like you got a pretty strong idea of where this um, this is. Okay, where is it? I will make a note to myself to come up with a location. Okay. Um, oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's great for us. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll write that down. <laughs> yeah. Location we to know the riddle. The riddle. I bet I already know. But is, where did you think it is? It's probably on Lyft. No, no it's on Chalt. Oh, okay. That would be boring. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the sea. No. It's, um, swimming. You could walk it's, it's, carbon. it's swimming around because it's a water elemental. <laughs> on the scales of Kraken. <laughs> it's it's actually stuck around it like a ring. It wears it like a ring. But unfortunately, it's turned to stone. No, no that that's a, a leviathan. Oh. Um, okay, so <laughs> that is day. Uh, yeah, what day if we 10? actually had to do, do stone to, to, like <laughs> to like recover it? No. It's not. Nah. Okay. Its stomach still. Um, we should stop talking. I, mean, I lost, <laughs> I lost my job and all, so I. Yeah. You lost your job. Why'd you lose your job? Yeah. At the right I didn't fire you. <laughs> No, they have a uh, thing about cleanliness. Uh, prevent water. You suck fire. as a rug, but that's okay. You're a ranger, <laughs> so that's fine. Work, I'm, work, I'm workshopping that. Okay. Smoking okay, so we'll skip more. ahead to one more um, one more session, and then we'll go to the council itself. Um, so it is day 13. 13. Uh, one day left mm -hmm. until the Blackheart Council. Okay. And a representative of the Lollipop Guild. Um, the Lollipop Guild. Asnar Bolivar mm. um, comes to meet with you, and he says that um, my captain would like to speak with one of you. Who's your captain? Uh, Asnar <laughs> Bolivar. Um, I mean, he is a representative of Asnar. <laughs> well, Bolivar. I didn't know that Asnar was a captain. Anyone Sorry. Uh, probably not that one. Not which one? <laughs> he points to that. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm the captain. He's the captain. I mean, I'll go with you. Okay, we'll go. Oh, wait, I mean, I feel wait, like wait, wait, you, wait. You we haven't. Go there. I mean, we what haven't if I go, though? What if I go, what, anyway? What's wrong? <laughs> uh, let's yeah. see, yeah. this guy's in the pocket of Volgrim. Yeah, I know. So. Okay. He, he can't he, crush my face, though, like mm, Volgrim no, can. No, no, no. But he could take you to Volgrim. No. He no, couldn't. He couldn't. <laughs> Not with Umberly's protection. He can certainly Well, then you should go. Not without a fight. Then we should all go. Okay, so you all go. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you are shown to um, Asnar's estate. It is clearly on brand for a tiefling pirate lord. 
flame filigree everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's it, like your dream. It is the the gates <laughs> are made of brass. Destroy this place. And there is <laughs> brass plating on all of the exterior oh, walls to make it shine. Yeah. Um, and plus, it's antimicrobial. So. Yeah. Asnar has a set of uh, <laughs> brass bracelets that he wears. Um, so they show you into a sitting room where Asnar is sitting. And he is an elderly tiefling. Um, he looks like he's spent his life on the sea for, for a great period of time. Um, and he says, I'm glad that you chose to join me. Of course. Why wouldn't I? <clears throat> Word about town is that you guys... Uh, your crew has been very active in uh, Mara Windstrider's um, employ. Someone say that. And Captain Windstrider would like this meeting tomorrow to go well. It's important. What would you offer me for my assistance in helping it go well? Hmm. What do we know about this guy other than he's in Volgrim's pocket? There is a, an alliance between the two. They're both pirate yeah. They're on the same okay. yeah. same par. But there is an alliance between the two. Basically, Mara has um, <coughs> the dwarf, and forgive me for a second, to... Um, so Mara has Teldar, who is at an alliance with her. Um, Asnar is um, in an alliance with uh, Volgrim. Mm -hmm. And Gastaban basically breaks the tie. Uh, okay. Between the pirate lords. Um, you know that um, Asnar is a, um, is a pirate lord. Um, he is very powerful in, in this area. Um, and it appears as though he is willing to make a side deal mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. um, but <coughs> it's, it's dependent on what you're willing to offer. But uh, information as what? to the th threat of assassination against him? Would that work? I mean, that probably be pretty good. I mean, if you're interested in those sort of things. He is interested in assassination yeah. plots against him. Especially if they're real. We were tasked with getting Volgrim and Gastavan to the meeting, right? right? Mm -hmm. yep. And we've accomplished that, correct? You've accomplished yeah. that. Okay. So the side deal with this guy... It's not going to do anything for us with to complete our deal with well, Windstrider. It, it'll, we help, it'll help swing. We'll help swing the vote though, because she's trying to get the pirate lords to all on the same page. Yeah. To, okay. to prepare for the fact that they're probably going to get attacked. I'm figuring we we just got to like negotiate a deal with Windstrider because if we can get what an is, extra vote, that would be worth something. What does Asmai know about the uh, the cult of the dragon? Uh, he says that he's seen Volgar meet with um, Archon. Okay. Um, he says that it hasn't been recent, but they have oftentimes met about business. Um, he doesn't know exactly what they were talking about, um, but the last time he knew that they met, um, they were talking about um, a, the crew of a, a ship called the Hellish Wind Whoever that, is. That, um, that was sent to Cholt to look for um, an artifact. Sent to Cholt to look for an artifact? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. When's our ship ready to leave? Well, I happen to know <coughs> that, <coughs> that meeting over. Umberly yeah. certainly has no desire to see any upstart dragon successfully become ascended into deity. Mm -hmm. So I can certainly offer Umberly's protection as her representative on the island okay. should you, you help prevent one? that from happening. <coughs> that is a 19. Uh, 20. 20. Okay, is there anything else that you guys would like to offer? Well, I was going to ask him what he's looking for. He proposes that for too long, the, the Blackheart Council has been ruled at the whims of Captain Windstrider and Captain Volgrim. Mm -hmm. He believes 
that he would be best served as the the leader of the Blackheart Council. And mm. with your assistance, he believes he could make that happen. Hmm. How is his dedication <coughs> to this cause, then? He, at this point, is willing to um, put resources behind a credible threat against um, Emmerich's hold and the pirate islands. Hmm. But it has to be credible. Well, I've been recording all of these conversations, and I take out oh, a oh, pen. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys say to that? I mean, we're willing to talk it over with the other pirate lords, but I mean, deals he aren't says, made. No, that's this not is right. a, this is not to be discussed with the other pirate lords. Yeah, that seems like. I will assist you in making what Captain Windstrider's um, plan is making this a reality. Mm. But the discussion of favors between the group of us must stay secret. Well, I mean, so we what, don't have any but, particular interest right. in advancing Mara Windstrider's standing no. in yeah. the council. Yeah. So uh, and uh, add a add a game question. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't. I still don't understand how he thinks. Like, we don't have sway over the court. <coughs> Not at this point. Yeah. But I'm going to be ruling he makes it play for eventually. It. He <laughs> wants us to go. Help he him. wants you guys to back his play. Okay. Once, I, once he. I, I still have this map of his estate. Yeah. Um, and a sword from a purple dragon knight. That's true. Um, you have a sword from a purple dragon knight? Yeah, I, I took it from him. Oh. Yeah. Um, he gave it to me, really, but... I thought you might have taken it off of Corbin. No, mm. no. Oh. I, okay. I'm... Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's still sleeping past out front on the show. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> you guys have a couple levels on that. Um. <laughs> no. So sir, all he no. wants us to do is to back his play whatever and whenever when he, that might when be. he makes it. No. And we have, he knows we have absolutely no sway over anybody in there. Currently, no. Yeah. yeah. But he, he probably senses the potential. The greatness in you. For me to. Well, then this I, is, this I, is then great. I should, he clearly doesn't understand how these things then work. We, then, then let's agree. <laughs> yeah. I, let's I, just do it. Yeah. Okay. All deal. Right. So. Um, you, you, you make the deal. You're the deal breaker, maker. Yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> two tieflings. We know how to write up maker. a contract. So he, yeah, he brings out a contract. Yeah. And then I read through it. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I never said something about his immortal soul. <laughs> yeah, get um, that immortal soul out of there. And the terms of the contract are this. Uh, should either party break their deal, um, there will be a debt that is paid. And the debt is... Um, Liquidated damage is good. The it's debt, usually a multiple. Of the debt damage. is um, 3,000 gold pieces okay. melted and poured on the back of the deal breaker. Um, huh. And, and you're signing. Peeled off. And you guys are all going to be signing. Yeah. Wait, what? Sure. Protection from elements? And, and no then he will, <laughs> he will sign it as well. It will kill you. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Not wait, that wait. we've done this math. That's Specifically this math. Before. That would be, Specifically that would be fire damage, math. right? It would be... Um, it's, it's a little different than fire yeah. damage, but yeah. Would he actually suffer any damage from, if he were to the yeah. deal Oh, yeah. It's a D6 per 100 gold pieces. And his resistances to fire and... Well, I mean, T-Flings have resistance to fire, yeah, sure. but... I mean, I, but 30d6? 30d6 is still 30d6. Right. Just want to make sure he, we're not agreeing to something where he would be immune from breaking <laughs> no, it. No, he's he's going to take this as well if he if he yeah. just gets dealt it. Make sure it's fair. Yeah, yeah. it's fair. Average well, I mean, as fair damage. as a deal with two How T-Flings much? involved to average fire, average 90 fire I mean, it's only going to be mm -hmm. half for yeah. them. Yeah, but when we were level... Yeah, we were level six. About mm. six. Yeah. So yeah, that that would kill most level sixes. It would yep. kill Sir. Well, yeah. yeah, but if it wouldn't affect the two ha the two tieflings, that's why. No, they're not immune to fire. No, they we're just resistant. Yeah. So, um, so does everybody sign? Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and then there's the weight of the gold being pressed against your back, and then the peeling of it off. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Of it off. No. Um, so we, we die. Sounds we pleasant. Flash yeah. back kind of to painful. the the council itself. Flash forward. And flash forward. 
Um, flashback to the beginning of the episode. Star wipe. <laughs> um, and see, I can I can withstand uh, sixty with protection from elements. Mara Winstrider has given her impassioned speech, Ouch. Um, and it appears as though um, it appears as though nothing has changed. Um, the The way I described it is still. Um, uh, Asnar is basically rolling his eyes at every word. Um, uh, Teldar is uh, nodding along. Um, and then they decide to put it to a vote. Um, and the, um, the vote happens, and it is um, th uh, four to one in favor of Captain Winstrider's plan. Nice. And Volgram is the one, yep. uh, mm -hmm. the one abstaining vote, and he reluctantly agrees to commit his forces. He believes that this is a folly, um, and he believes that, um, that nothing will come of this, but um, he's willing to to um, to back it, if if nothing else, just to get um, to get this deal done. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking for something real quickly here. I mean, nothing to do with this game. It's something else after after the game. But okay, okay. Um, and An explosion. So. Um, at that point, they move on to other business. Mm -hmm. uh, and they start talking um, about raids that they have planned on Cormier and Symbia and um, other, other things. And then um, the proceedings are interrupted by screams outside the walls of Immer Keep. And... A loud roar happens. Oh, no. um, a roar that actually that cracks mm -hmm. stone around you guys. Um, and as you guys rush forward, um, uh, one of the pirate captains, and I had this queued up, um, one of the pirate captains rushes out to open the doors to see what's going on and he's met with a blast of heat and it is like being let into a furnace um, and he um, is knocked back off of his feet and that's when we're stopped for the night mm -hmm. okay. you know we're level 5 right uh, not oh, now. You're oh, level, six. Six. No, no, level six. Oh, so we're ready to take on a colossal yeah. red dragon. <laughs> yeah. That's Piece fine. Piece yeah. cane. We can do this. I can shoot it. I, I see no problems with this. <laughs> well, we got so. a ranger. I'm sure he's you know, dragging <laughs> Thanks the dragon. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Favorite time to be dragging. Uh, next week's episode of this arc. Uh, if you've watched all of them, we appreciate your patronage. Um, and we will be back again next week. And then we'll take a short break. Uh, and then our own Howard will take a seat behind the M screen to run a few sessions of Red Handed Doom to give me a break while I work on other stuff. And we will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>